Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, what's up? So today we're gonna talk about several different types of conspiracies. But first, before we start, I wanna add something. I wanna add, this is a non-biased channel. I will not push my religious views, my political views, any of that kind of stuff. I don't think it's appropriate, I don't think it's right. I'm not those other YouTubers that do stuff like that. This is a non-biased channel. And plus, when people do that, it's like you're joining a cult. That's what cult people do, right? The videos I make are made for fun, entertainment, and informational purposes only. That's all they're there for. Not to push my views. I just want to add this first before I start this video because this video might get controversial depending on how you look on it. Like I said, I'm not pushing any political or religious views on you. This is a non-biased channel. So if you like this video, leave a like and also share it with your friends and family. It will let me know that you like this type of videos. It'll let me know you like this type of content. And I can make more videos like this for you. And it'll help this channel out tremendously and we can grow bigger than what we already are. So we all can agree that 2021 has been a roller coaster of a year. I mean, the CDC just came out with an article about zombie preparedness. Could this be because of the new C-19 vaccine that just got released? The government is trying to prepare us for this, a zombie apocalypse. When do you think we'll start to see the vaccine making a difference in case numbers, hospitalization numbers, and most importantly, those death numbers? Do you remember Resident Evil? I mean, why am I even asking? Of course you remember Resident Evil. Do you know the actual purpose of why the T-Virus was created? It was basically a vaccine. The T-Virus was created to prevent cellular breakdown, to cure it. Well, come to find out the vaccine, the T-Virus, had opposite effect on what it was supposed to do. It had some side effects that actually killed the host and reanimated the body, making them hungry for human flesh. Now, I'm not saying the C-19 vaccine is going to cause a zombie apocalypse. I mean, that's a crazy idea. Depends on where you stand with zombies. I think a zombie outbreak would be pretty cool. I mean, that's my generation's every dream. I mean, we were raised with Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. And we were the first COD zombie players out there. But you gotta admit, it's kind of a strange coincidence that they published this article as soon as C-19 vaccine was released. Granted, they do one every four or five years. They did one back in 2012, uh, 2016, I believe. It's just to cover their assets. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is making sure the people are ready for anything just even a zombie apocalypse. The conspiracy is that Bill Gates is trying to lower the population. Unchecked population growth will overtake food production in less than 50 years, leading to famine and war. This is not conjecture. This is fact. One way or another, our world is coming to an end. On February 5th, 2011, Bill Gates was in an interview with CNN on about the year of the vaccines. What does that mean exactly? Well, over this decade, uh, we believe unbelievable progress can be made, both inventing new vaccines and making sure they get out to all the children who need them. Uh, we could cut the number of children who die every year from about 9 million to half of that uh, if we have success on it. And the, the benefits there in terms of reducing sickness, reducing the population growth. What if vaccines actually do cut the death rate in children, but also makes them sterile, where they're not able to reproduce to create more people, lowering the population? Let's take C-19, for example. When the vaccine was put into trials, there were some concerns with the ingredients that were put into the vaccine. Dr. Wolfgang Wadegaard, a German scientist, had a concern with a protein called Scientians 1, used by the Pfizer vaccine. What Scientians 1 is, it's a protein found in mammal placenta. The idea of this theory is that the vaccine will cause the human body to create antibodies. Now, the antibodies will attack the women's placenta, causing them to become infertile. So Pfizer went ahead and took this theory into consideration and ran some tests. They ran a group test on the vaccine. What they did was, during the test trials of 37,000 people, before they were given the drug, all the women had to take pregnancy tests. And of all the women, they all came out negative. None of them were positive. So the women were given the drug. Now later on down the line, they were also given pregnancy tests again. Now of all these people, 23 of them came out pregnant. And none of these people, none of these women had any issues with their pregnancies at all. 
Now, the reason why I'm so skeptical on the vaccines is because of the history of vaccines. I know people that got the flu vaccine and about a month or two months later, they got the flu. But back in 1932, there was a study done on African-American men on syphilis. The men were given a drug and they were told that this drug will help treat syphilis. But that's not what happened. These men were given syphilis. The scientists wanted to see how they would react to the ailments of the drug, the ailments of syphilis. But in exchange, they were given free exams, free meals, and even free death insurance. If that's not even fishy enough for you. I do believe vaccines help people, but I don't believe they help all people. I mean, it depends on the person taking the vaccine, on how their body reacts to it. Take Mary Sue, a nine-year-old girl who went and got the flu vaccine back in 2013. Six days later, she woke up paralyzed. Paralyzed and barely able to speak, a 12-year-old girl's parents blaming an annual flu shot on their daughter's rare condition. Little Mary Sue has been bedridden for the past two years. What had happened is she ended up getting ADEM disease. ADEM is an autoimmune system disease normally triggered by a bad infection or a vaccine. An ADEM disease attacks your central nervous system. Now I might chop this up a little bit, but also damages your myelin, myelin and solutions and solutions. I believe that's what it says, which in all in all destroys your white matter. It also causes your brain and spinal cord to become inflamed, causing paralysis. The doctors say that there's no 100% evidence that the vaccine causes disease. Come on, six days after she took the vaccine, she ended up getting this disease. When coincidences like that add up, it becomes evidence. Back in 1986, Ronald Reagan signed the National Childhood Vaccine Injury Act, better known as NCVIA. What this act does, it protects the vaccine companies and manufacturers for any liability with their vaccines. Ergo, if their vaccine causes any damage, any permanent damage, you cannot sue. You can't hold them accountable, but you just have to deal with it and move on with your life. Like I said earlier, I believe vaccines work, but they do not work for everyone. They have different side effects. Me personally, I have not taken a vaccine since 2011. And I don't plan on taking the new one, especially if it's been rushed. January 20th, 2021, Joe Biden is sworn in as the 46th president of the United States of America. And there's been a plethora of conspiracies surrounding him, even before he became president, when he was running for president. There's a lot of talk about how the Joe Biden in the White House is not the real Joe Biden. They even go as far as saying that the White House that he resides in is not the real White House. The theory is that the Joe Biden in the White House is a clone, or even a stand-in body replica. Now I want to talk about clones real quick. I never really talked about the history of clones in America and the research done on it. Cloning is the process of creating an identical copy of an organism through the cells and DNA fragments. Now, America has been publicly working on cloning research since the 1990s the early 1990s, maybe longer before that. 1996 was the first official cloned live specimen, Dolly the sheep. Now this took 29 embryos and 277 fertile eggs. Now out of this, only three lambs were born and one survived. Now back in 1998, President Clinton passed a legislation banning cloning on human beings. Now the knowledge of Dolly the sheep didn't come to the public until 1997. And this legislation was passed on January of 1998. Our administration believes that there are loopholes that could allow the cloning of human beings if such if the technology were developed. Therefore, today I am issuing a directive that bans the use of any federal funds for any cloning of human beings. Effective immediately, no federal agency may support, fund, or undertake such activity. Of course, a great deal of research and activity in this area is supported by private funds. Now, I'm kind of up and down with the legislation because one, yes, banning a cloning of human beings, that's good. I mean, if you could clone a human, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with that. Create assassins, you can create a killer, you can literally frame someone for murder. Now, my thought on this is, what if they ban the cloning to do the research under the table, hush hush, keep everything off the radar? But that's just a thought. Now, Joe Biden is the first president not to hold a press briefing after being sworn in the presidency. And no one knows why he hasn't held one yet. Now, here are some photographs of Joe Biden back in the day to Joe Biden now. As you can tell, the ears are quite strange. There's some inconsistencies. One photo, the earlobe is directly connected to his face. And in another photo, the earlobe loops around and connects to his face. 
Fun fact about ears, you can match somebody up with a picture of their ear even if the picture is fuzzy. An ear has a 99.6% accuracy and for some reason an ear shot does not hold up in court. So how can Joe Biden's ear change dramatically? There's some more strange inconsistencies with Joe Biden. Here's a clip back in 2012 with Joe Biden talking about perfect speech. No stutter, no nothing, complete, plain Jane, everything's going great. It was worth the trip to hear my wife say what I've never heard her say before. She's always loved me. If that's the case, why in the heck did it take five times of asking you? Now in some of his speeches, he could barely hold a sentence. No, but, but I should be able to read better, but I have never in my life done anything in approaching a woman that has been other than trying to bring salt. I'm used to, like one of your staff was, I'm used to, I think it's really important we listen. Now, this could be a result of what happened back in 1988 when Biden had two life-threatening brain aneurysms. I, uh, I had two cranial aneurysms. And they literally had to take the top of my head off. I mean, they take a saw and they cut your head off and, and go in to find the artery that is one was leaking, the other that hadn't before it burst. After brain aneurysms, you will have problems. You will have problems with your speech, problems with your thinking, and problems with your memory. You also have chronic headaches, cognitive problems, and vision problems. Now, when Joe Biden decided to run for president, he had to undergo some health inspections. I mean, because of his age. He's like 78, 79. The doctor cleared him from everything, but the doctor also said he had a 79% chance survival rate for his first term and a 70% chance survival rate for a second term. Now, could this be the reason why they wanted the launch codes away from him? I mean, if he is a clone, I wouldn't want the clone to have the launch codes because who knows if clones have empathy or if they have a soul or anything like that. Now, over the years, we have seen and heard about people having body doubles. Uh, Hillary Clinton back in her election time. Melina Trump. This is not Hillary Clinton, but a body double. Hillary seemed in good spirits as she emerged from her daughter Chelsea's apartment Sunday after collapsing at the 9-11 memorial ceremony. Stories started spreading on the internet claiming that this was not Melania at the president's side, but a body double. Do you think Joe Biden is a clone or has a body double or what do you think is going on? What's your opinion and thoughts on this? Now I covered Dan Schneider's conspiracy theories and I plan on covering more on him. I'm doing research on it. I've covered his feet issue with kid children. I cover him exploiting children in TV shows and the shady stuff going on behind closed doors. Now I want to cover a few stories on Disney and Disney Channel that everyone seems to forget about and not talk about what's going on and brush it underneath the rug. Now let's start with 35 Disney employees that have been arrested on child sex charges between 2006 and 2014. Yes, you heard that right. Between 2006 and 2014. Disney World saw its darkest day yet as dozens of employees were arrested in connection with a child sexing operation. At least 35 theme park employees are accused of possessing child porn or attempting to meet minors for sex since 2006 in and around Florida. Now out of the 35, only 32 of them have been convicted. Now it just baffles me how stuff like this goes on and nothing's really done about it. Yes, you could say they've been arrested and they've charged, but what about Joby Hardy? Have you heard of him? He was a manager of the Disney Channel star Ricky Garcia. You might have remember him from the remake of Big Fat Liar. Kevin, you're going to be late for school. I'm practically out of the door. Finish your homework? Of course I finished my homework. You're late, Kevin. I was helping Principal Taggart with a school safety issue. Ricky claims that Joby sexually abused him since the age of 12, pulling every play from the grooming playbook. Quote, well-worn playbook of grooming and seduction. End quote. Ricky says by the age of 16, it was happening on a weekly basis, and he was passed around to other files in the industry. Now, I'm still not 100% positive what happened to Joby. I just know that he's no longer Ricky's manager. I'll keep you updated on this when I find out more information on this. Let's talk about one more person in the Disney entertainment field. John Healy, a senior executive at Disney, had been charged with three counts of child abuse days after a massive 
Spring was exposed in Disney World. John was arrested and released with a $150,000 bail back in 2017. Now he was in charge of your music inside your Disney films, your Disney movies, stuff like that. Now do you remember back in 2019, 2020 when Bella Thorne came out and talked about her experiences in the Disney Channel limelights? How she was physically and sexually abused from the ages of 6 to 14? How did the young you perceive what was happening? Definitely Stockholm Syndrome. I mean, when you're raised with someone um, and you don't know that it's wrong, it's just very like uh, an everyday occurrence, like no big deal. Could she have been talking about John? I mean, she was one of the main stars in the hit TV show, Shake It Up. John's charges were dealing with a 15 and 11 year old, so this could kind of line up depending on the year that's taking place. Now with cancel culture and everything going on, how come Nickelodeon and Disney Channel and Disney and Disney World have not been canceled yet? Well you can argue, well they've been fired, they've been arrested, they've been charged, but they're only go to jail for 6 months, 16 months. Look at Brian Peck, he went to jail for almost a year and he ended up back in the same industry working with children. If crap like this keeps happening in the company, it's not just a small infestation in the industry, it's the whole industry itself. Like I said, I'll keep you updated on what's going on with this. I'm still doing some more digging. Get y'all's opinions, ideas on what needs to be done with this type of people. What needs to be done with these industries, these companies that keeps allowing this to happen. I hope you enjoyed today's conspiracies and what's your thoughts on 2021? If you have any more conspiracies you want me to cover, let me know down in the comments or tweet me. My handle's right down in the description. Leave a like, lets me know you like these type of videos, and I can make more of these. Until next video, peace guys.